Hey, welcome to Storytime at Central Park in our children's library. So today we're going to be talking about Abraham and Sarah, which is found in Genesis chapter 12 through chapter 21. So you can follow along at home if you want to. Abraham and Sarah believed and trusted in God. One day God said to Abraham, leave your home and I will guide you to a new land. In that land, I will bless you and your family. So Abraham and Sarah packed up their belongings and made the long journey to the new land. Abraham's nephew Lot traveled with them. God guided them to the new land of Canaan, and Abraham's helpers and Lot's helpers began to argue. Abraham said, choose the land you want and go live there. Lot picked the best land for himself, and Abraham and Sarah moved their tents to the big trees at Hebron. One hot afternoon, Abraham saw three men coming towards his tent. He called out to them, Welcome, visitors. Come. Rest and eat by my tent. Abraham ran inside the tent and said, Sarah, we have visitors. Right away, Sarah began to bake bread for them to eat, and Abraham brought cool milk for them to drink. And when the food was ready, Abraham and the three men rested under a tree next to the tent. Where is your wife? the visitors asked. Abraham told them, My wife is inside the tent. Then one of the visitors said something unusual. Soon, Sarah will have a baby boy. Sarah was listening inside the tent, and when she heard what they said, she laughed to herself. She knew she was too old to have a baby. She was over 90 years old. Why would this stranger say such a thing? Well, the visitor spoke again, and he asked Sarah, Why did you laugh? Is there anything that God cannot do? And Sarah was embarrassed. She had not meant for anyone to hear her. She was afraid and said, I did not laugh. But the visitor said, Yes, you did. And when Abraham heard the visitor say these things, he knew that it was God speaking to them. And before the year was over, Sarah had a baby boy. She remembered how she had laughed when God told her that they would have a baby. Everyone was surprised that God had given Sarah a child. Abraham and Sarah were very, very happy. In fact, they were so happy they named the baby boy Isaac, which means laughter. They also remembered to thank God for their very special blessing. Alright, so again, hope you're checking in your Bible and reading these stories along with your family. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.